Ladies and gentlemen, I give you internet auteurs, Chad, Matt, and Rob. Yeah. Give it up. Yeah. Chad, Matt, and Rob. Thanks, Gentlemen, thank you. thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. So you guys uh, did Choose Your Own Adventure, which is my favorite thing growing up, and, uh, and turned it into uh, a web series. How did it happen? I think um, back in 2008, we just saw YouTube release a new feature, and it was the YouTube annotations. Right. And I remember sending these guys an email saying, dudes, check this out. Like, we can do a choose your own adventure. And I remember I got immediate replies back, like, yes, we must. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I think we just uh, went to the farmer's market and wrote something that day <laughs> or the next day. <laughs> Producer shot, shot it. it. Yeah, like right. a week yeah. or two later. And then two weeks after that, it was out on the internet. I love it. See, I love that. I like, you know, I moved out here in the, in, you know, in the early 2000s and everyone was just talking. Now people are talking and actually doing. Yes. You know, you can like get a camera. It's important. Yeah. And it's easy. It's, it's easy. Yeah. And it can be done on the cheap if you want it to be. Okay, so explain the Choose Your Own Adventure books to the lay person who does not, uh, does not know it. A whole bunch of stories in one book where you choose at the end of every chapter. Go to page 60 for jumping off of the boat. Go to page 80 to fight the squid. Right. And then you go, and in the books they actually would, you know, it's been probably a decade since I've read one, but it went different directions and take you on a whole new storyline. Because we're shooting it and we don't have limited funds, we basically, if you choose wrong, you die. Right. So that's how it changed. I do remember the destinies in the books too, because I remember flipping ahead of the pages. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. It was like a short paragraph. Like, oh, yeah, oh, you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, a little death picture yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So you knew you chose wrong and you had to go back to the other one and try that other branch. So I think we, we, we took that aspect of it where there's literally just one storyline there's a bunch of death branches. And then once you die, it rewinds and takes you back to that death story. Okay. So hopefully you see all of the videos, but if not, you'll eventually get that. It's the win. Right. You're forced, you're forced into the win. You're forced. Eventually. I love that! You ended up doing these videos for Axe, right? Mm -hmm. how, how did that happen? Did they come to you? Yeah. Yeah, they, they approached us. They had a new line of shampoos coming out in, in now. And now. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and, you know, they, they liked our interactive ventures and see if there's a way we can partner up. And, you know, to be honest, in the past, you know, friends have, have approached us looking for the same thing, but we've always been a little weary to do, you know, product placement. Like, how, how do you feel when you watch? A video and it's blatant, blatant product poison. And it's pretty good right. in ours. Yeah, well, that's that's fine. But done, but done it in a different way. No, no, yeah. we're happy with it. I mean, but it took a lot of us saying, like, no, 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 a lot. I yeah. mean, we said no many times, like, ah, it's not it. And then finally, we, they were like, you can do what you would normally do. And then we were like, all right. Yeah, I mean, just well, to be clear, they've, they've been good. super awesome. Yeah, they have been good. They sure. let us kind of create what we wanted to create, so. Yes. Terrific. And let me tell you, when I smell it, it takes me to, uh, it takes me to a sensual place. Yes. Yeah. So what has Axe Body Spray done for you? In your personal life? Smell great. Obviously. Uh, I don't have to buy it. Uh, do you get a lifetime supply? A one-year supply, probably. Yeah. Really? They're actually very distinct about it not being Axe Body Spray. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. okay. No, no, and we, we, we've said Body Spray, and they're like, oh, don't yeah. say that. Yeah. They have like, you know, hierarchy. Segments. We have a lot of Axe shampoo if you ever need it. Okay. We have, yeah. You didn't bring any Axe yeah, shampoo? Yeah, go, buddy. What the hell? You guys. Mm. Maybe we can rewind again. Maybe we could. Maybe we could. Wait, what did you bring? What did you bring? you a present. What? It's, a, it's one of our, our shirts. Um, Get to open it now. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, yep. Oh, come on. Of course, we, we have a lot to do with aliens, so there's a UFO and... UFO, know. aliens, there's color. It's American apparel, American so it's, apparel. you know, this is not from a sweatshop. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming by. Chad Matt Robin.